Hi, my name is Dr. Sanjay Sharma, and I'm an ophthalmologist, also known as an IMD, who diagnoses and treats eye problems. I'm also a professor of ophthalmology and epidemiology at Queen's University. Many people are not sure what an ophthalmologist is, so I wanted to walk you through the training and specialization needed to become one. To better understand what an ophthalmologist is, I want to introduce you to the three key players on the eye care team, the optician, the optometrist, and the ophthalmologist, or what I like to call the three O's of eyes. The first O of eyes is the optician. The main responsibility of an optician is to make glasses, and they often own or work in stores that sell eyeglasses. You usually go to them with a prescription for glasses, and they will show you different frames and different types of lenses, and will be able to help you make good choices for a pair of glasses or contact lenses. Opticians are not involved in diagnosing or treating eye conditions. The second O of eyes is the optometrist. Visiting your optometrist is often the first step if you have blurred vision or you think there is something wrong with your eyes. Optometrists are often in the front line of eye care in the medical system. An optometrist looks at the overall health of your eye and can give prescriptions for eyeglasses to sharpen your vision. Optometrists are trained to screen for eye problems like cataract or retinal detachment that need emergency attention, and they refer patients who need advanced or urgent care directly to an ophthalmologist. An optometrist typically does an undergraduate degree and then goes to a school of optometry for four years. There are about four to 5,000 optometrists in Canada. The last O that helps with your eyes is an ophthalmologist. Usually a patient is seen by an ophthalmologist when they are referred by their family doctor or optometrist for evaluation of a complicated or advanced eye problem or for medical or surgical treatment of an eye disease. To become an ophthalmologist, after getting an undergraduate degree, you need to go to medical school for four years. In medical school, you do everything like deliver babies, do shifts in the ER and run codes to resuscitate patients whose hearts have stopped beating. Usually towards your second or third year of medical school, you decide in which area you would like to specialize. If you decide to pursue ophthalmology, you are competing for one of only 30 spots in the country and you must commit to a five-year residency program. Because ophthalmologists go to medical school before their residency, they are known as IMDs. Having a medical degree helps an ophthalmologist because many eye conditions like diabetic retinopathy, android streaks, and thyroid-related eye disease are linked to problems that affect the whole body. Additionally, we use medications like steroids and anti-VEGF treatments that can affect the rest of the body. While in your residency to become an IMD, you are an apprentice of sorts. You train with some of the best ophthalmologists in the country and learn how to diagnose common eye conditions like cataract, glaucoma, and macular degeneration. But because you are exposed to over 5,000 patients per year, you also learn how to diagnose and treat very rare conditions like childhood eye cancers, parasitic infections, and conditions like temporal arteritis, which if missed, can lead to death. During your residency, you also learn how to treat eye conditions and decide which treatments are best under what conditions. So for something like glaucoma, in which the eye pressure is usually too high, we learn when we can give drops for routine cases, when we need to use lasers, and when we need to rush a patient to the operating room to surgically insert a drainage device. After doing a residency, you can even subspecialize in a specific area of the eye. So for instance, I did two extra years of training to become a retina specialist. So now I really only see patients with retinal problems and treat vision-threatening conditions like macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy. Other IMDs can subspecialize in other parts of the eye. So there are cornea specialists, glaucoma specialists, oculoplastic specialists, there is even a specialist for the optic nerve. As you can see, to become an ophthalmologist or an IMD, it takes a significant amount of time to become an expert. If you were counting, 13 years to become an ophthalmologist, and 15 years to become a subspecialist. So the next time you have an eye problem and start to access the healthcare system, think about the three O's of eyes and how opticians, 
optometrists and ophthalmologists or IMDs work together in a system that ensures that you get the best care for your eyes.